In today's video, we're going to take a look at some trigonometry word problems. And we're just going to talk about some strategies you can use to help you solve these problems. So the first thing we want to talk about is draw a diagram, not just a right triangle. If you just have a right triangle, it's sometimes hard to match up with what goes with what. So if we got a ladder and a wall, don't draw the triangle. Draw a little ladder, draw a little wall. All right, the second thing is to pay careful attention to which sides are forming the angle. So we know we've got our right angle, but we have angles that are formed by the ladder and the ground. Do you see where that is? It would be that angle. Or we might ha be talking about the angle between the ladder and the wall, which would be the top angle. All right, another thing we need to talk about is two terms here. We have angle of elevation, and elevation is kind of with the idea of elevate, which means to go up, versus angle of depression, which would be something that's going down. One thing that they both have is one side of both angles has to be horizontal. So they start with horizontal, and you can see the angle of elevation goes up, and the angle of depression goes down. And so let's take a look at an example here. So we got two people here at point A and point B. There's way, different ways you can draw right triangles here with either an angle of elevation or an angle of depression. So if we're going to draw this triangle, this triangle only works for one of these two people. This has to be from person A, and it's got to be an angle of elevation. So we can have an angle of elevation from the person at point A, and then take a look at point B. This triangle would not work right now. That's not an angle of depression. But if we draw it this way, so that we definitely have a horizontal line going from person B, that is the angle of depression from person B. Again, the big key here is angle of elevation and angle of depression must have a horizontal line as one of the rays of the angle. First practice problem. All right, a support wire is attached to the top of a flagpole. It is secured in the ground 10 feet from the pole. The angle of elevation formed by the ground and the wire is 68 degrees. What is the length of the wire? So you got to come up with your picture first. So here's my flagpole, and you can see a right triangle that I have with it. So the first question is, what do we do with the 10 feet? The 10 feet is the distance between the wire being attached to the ground and the pole. So that goes on bottom. All right. The 68 degrees, you actually have two clues here. You, it, we know that the 68 degrees has to be an angle of elevation. We also see that it is formed by the ground and the wire. Do you see where the 68 degrees must go? Right there on the bottom. All right, what is it asking us? It's asking us for the length of the wire. Can you mark that with an X? There we go. So now we have a right triangle uh, that's part of a diagram, and we just got to solve for X. So this is like, what we've already done in the other videos. By the way, if you're not sure how to solve for x on this, you got to watch my other trig videos so you know what to do here. All right. Uh, across from the right angle is our hypotenuse. We mark the opposite side, leaving 10 for the adjacent. We're not going to use the opposite here. So we have a and h. So that's going to be cosine, ka. And our equation is going to be cosine of 68 degrees equals 10 over x. Multiply both sides by x, and we're left with x times cosine of 68 degrees equals 10. And then when we divide both sides by cosine of 68 degrees, our answer is on the right. So our exact answer is 10 divided by cosine of 68 degrees. But for the idea of a word problem, that's not a very good format. We want to do that on the calculator and get 26.695. Now this is a word problem, so we shouldn't leave it like that. 
what kind of units are we using? There we go. Feet. Second example problem. An airplane that is 3,500 feet above the ground prepares to land at the airport. If the angle of depression from the plane to the airport is 12 degrees and the plane descends in a straight line, what distance will the plane travel to reach the airport? So we need to draw a plane and there's my fancy airport landing strip. All right, so we know the plane's gonna, dr gonna fly from where it's at to the airport. Now, when you look at what I have here, there's two ways that we might draw a right triangle. We could draw a right triangle that way. And that makes sense when we're thinking about 35 feet above the ground. We'd want to go directly down from the airplane to talk about that 3,500 feet. The problem is we need an angle of depression. That means from the airplane, this right triangle will not work. We need a horizontal line from the airplane. So that right triangle that's going to be an angle of depression. So this can be tricky because it's the 3,500 feet is not going to be measured where you think it would be measured, but the key is that you get the angle of depression right. So with this triangle, uh, we can go ahead and take a look at where's the 3,500 feet. That's going to be our leg over on the right side. Our 12 degrees, that is the angle of depression which we can see is going to be from the airplane, so it's up there at the top with the horizontal line. All right, it's asking us to find the distance the plane will travel. So that is where we need to put our x. And now we just have to solve the Sokotoa problem. So mark our hypotenuse, our opposite, and our adjacent. Um, we can cross out the adjacent on this one. So we have opposite and hypotenuse, that is so. So we're going to use sine, sine of 12 degrees equals 3,500 divided by x. So we're going to solve this similar to the first problem. Multiply both sides by x, and then divide by sine of 12 degrees. So our exact answer is 3,500 divided by sine of 12 degrees. Do that on your calculator, and you get 16,834 and 70 thousandths. Um, again, you should include units, and this problem was measured in feet. All right, it is now time for practice problems. So go ahead, and when you see the problem, go ahead and pause the video, and go through your steps, draw your diagram, and then try to place the given information where it's supposed to go. And that should lead to a Sokotoa problem that you need to solve. Here's your first problem. Here's a diagram with our ladder and the wall. Again, you may have chose to, to draw it coming from the other side. That's fine. We should end up with the same answer. Um, the 8-foot ladder is our hypotenuse. And the 72-degree angle is formed with the ground. So it's got to go on the bottom. And then we are trying to find how high up the wall is. It lands on the wall. All right. Hypotenuse, opposite, adjacent. We're not using the adjacent. So this is another sine problem. This is so. So we have sine of 72 degrees equals x divided by 8. This is the easier one to solve compared to our first two. Multiply both sides by 8, and you're looking at your exact answer. 8 times the sine of 72 degrees, and our final answer is 7.608 feet. All right, next problem. Go ahead and pause the video. All right, there's our picture, and we have the 100 feet is how far you're sitting from the tree, so that goes on the bottom. And the angle is an angle of elevation, which means it has to be the angle that has the horizontal line. So there's our 53 degrees. And we're trying to find out how tall the tree is. So there's our x. Go ahead and label your hypotenuse, your opposite, and your adjacent. 
we're not using the hypotenuse. So this is O and A. This is TOA. So we're going to use tangent. Tangent of 53 degrees equals x over 100. Multiply both sides by 100. And our exact answer is 100 times tangent of 53 degrees, which means we end up with 132.704 feet for our final answer. Last problem. Go ahead and pause and try it. All right, there's a drawing of my mountain road. And I know I need a right triangle with it, so the 5,000 feet is the hypotenuse, that's the road's length, and the leg on the right side would be my elevation of 750. And we're actually looking for the angle this time, and the angle of elevation has to be formed with the horizontal line. So there's our x, uh, there's our hypotenuse, opposite, and adjacent. This one's not using the adjacent, so this is sine, this is so. So we have sine of x equals 750 divided by 500. We're not going to multiply both sides by 500 here. This is finding a missing angle, which means we go to our exact answer, which is the inverse sine of 750 over 5,000. And on a calculator, that gives you 8.627 degrees.